If an essay is thought made visible, you want to ensure that thinking is there in your paper. There are roughly four phases to the writing process. First is preparation. Many students mistakenly assume that they can just string together a bunch of information or quotes from several different sources to comprise their paper. Because this is not really thinking about the material though, at best it will produce a mediocre paper. If you have gotten feedback from the professor that says you aren't being analytical enough or didn't go far enough in exploring your topic, you are probably stringing sources together. One way to ground your paper in something significant is to take a question approach to it. Consider your paper as an answer to a question, your thesis question. The summary of that answer to that question is the thesis answer or thesis statement. Material that doesn't answer your question doesn't belong in your paper. The second phase is thinking and research, and this is where your thesis question is very helpful. Questions also help you in the planning your research and organizing the information you gather on your topic. Many students make the mistake of going to the library with a keyword only, and when they type in that keyword into one of the various search engines, they get a universe of data back. This is far too much information and they often get lost and confused. Questions help direct their research and select certain resources for more attention. When they find some information, they compare it against their question. They start to be selective about what they draw from the universe of information. With this, they start to be able to organize and sort information as well, and make connections between things. Questions help you focus on the most relevant information in this universe of data to include in your paper. Using these questions, you can also start to outline the format of your paper, identifying in what order you want to address the question. This is a much more organized process and often yields a much better paper. From this point forward, it's probably a lot easier to write your paper. It is so much easier to write when you've got good research. If you've got poor research, it's going to be very difficult to stretch that material to fit your thesis. Thinking and writing have been separated out in this model somewhat artificially, because for many students, they think through the act of writing. In fact, for some, they don't even know what they think until they've written it down. When you're writing for thinking, that's for you. However, when you're writing an essay, that's for the professor. Many students make the mistake of trying to fix up their think writing into a paper. But because think writing is often exploratory or tangential, the resultant paper usually lacks focus and will often receive a lower grade. It is often better to separate writing from thinking and actually rewrite the paper from scratch, leaving behind your think writing. Finally, the editing phase. This is where you will polish your paper. The thinking and research phases are going to form the bedrock of your paper. But to really make it exceptional, you need to edit it. Very few students can write an A-level paper right off the top of their head. Those that have done that have been thinking about their material, often just in their head, for a fairly long time. There is a whole video on editing, and I encourage you to check it out. Good luck.